You see, national foreign programmers are so smart that they can figure out lots of clever ways to write code that nobody else will be able to figure out. In order to become good programmers, they have to learn to recognize those things and not do them. In general, the way you learn to write good, clear code is by reading lots of code and writing lots of code. Leaving so soon? I hope it wasn't something I said. Um, so, how can you have the chance to read lots of code and write lots of code? Well, only free software gives you the chance to read the code of programs that people really use. And then if you want to write the code for large programs, you have to start small. But that doesn't mean small programs, because small programs don't begin to show you the difficulties of writing large programs. So you have to write small additions and changes in big programs. Only free software lets you do that. That's how I learned. Working at, the, at MIT in the Artificial Intelligence Lab, my job was to improve the operating system. We had a free software operating system. That's how I learned that free software is a good way of life, by living it. And my job was to read these programs and write improvements over and over and over and over. I did it hundreds of times and eventually I was good at it. Today, any school can offer the same opportunity, but only if it's a free software school. But there's an even deeper reason, and that is for the sake of moral education, education in citizenship. Every school has to teach the spirit of goodwill, the habit of helping your neighbor. So every class has to have this rule. Students, if you bring software to class, you can't keep it for yourself. You must share it with the rest of the class. But the teacher has to set a good example by following the same rule. The teacher also has to share software with the students. So the school must say, you can't bring proprietary software to school. It's not allowed. <clears throat> now, Edu good education is education with free software. The Italian government wants bad education. So it has started a plan to give all the children in Italy computers with windows. Computers designed to teach them dependence on a company that has been convicted of criminal behavior three times. Well, I guess that shows how much the Italian government is concerned with teaching good citizenship, with freedom, with social solidarity, and also how much it is concerned with crime when the criminal is a company. <clears throat> These computers are called the junk PC because, if, well, I have to give her time to explain. So, uh, an ethical school will not allow students to bring in a junk PC. They will say, if you want to bring this computer to school, it has to be converted to free software. I don't know whether it's possible to install free software in the junk PC. Does anybody know? We don't know. Oh, well, we'll see. In any case, <clears throat> uh, now is the 
decision point. Either the children across Italy will be sold to a company, their minds will be sold to a company, or their minds will be free. If you are a parent, you should refuse to allow your child to have a junk PC unless it's converted to free software and is no longer junk. Because at that age, you still need to teach your child to think about freedom. <clears throat> so, to finish, I'd like to present my other identity. Editor of the Beast, 
<laughs> but using a free implementation of VI is not a sin, it's a penance. And sometimes they ask whether my halo is really an old computer disk. This is no computer disk, this is my halo, but it was a computer disk in a previous life. So thank you very much.